The, the whole goal was to write a story for my children. And uh, was at the encouragement of Kim, my wife. And, uh, and she'd been encouraging me for about five years to write something. She basically said, would you please put in uh, one place sort of how you think, just as a gift for the children. Um, that was the whole goal. Recently she said, she thought maybe four to six pages. You know you're in trouble when your wife wants everything you know in four to six pages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yeah. never thought of it from that angle. The shack is a metaphor and, and it stands for the inside house that we build, the house of the soul, the house of the heart. And what we expend our energy on is a facade on the outside that we want people to believe in. Me, I, it took me 38 years building the shack. I was 38 years old before the facade that I invested all my energy in just blew to pieces. And my shack is built on things like you know, growing up on the mission field, being a missionary kid and a preacher's kid. And, and on the mission field, well, it was at a time where, where so much focus was on the great work of God that a lot of times children were lost. And a lot of missionary kids from that generation got hurt terribly. So my time in the shack is 11 years that I squeeze into a weekend for Mackenzie Allen Phillips. We had no expectations, particularly for the book, um, in terms of this kind of thing happening. I mean, well, it was we, just not We were radar. terrified of the first print run of 10,000. <laughs> Both pretty... of us were like, how long is it gonna to take to get through those? The best, the best case scenario was we wanted to sell 100,000 books over two years so we could make the movie. We thought it would take us a couple of years to get to 100,000 and thought that would be miraculous if we did that. I've never seen a response where people, they not only love the book, but they wanna buy a dozen to give away to all their friends. So we got so we got to crawl in and uh, finally got a manuscript that we were all really nuts about. And all the feedback we got was positive, except no one wanted to publish it. And from the Christian industry, we were hearing, this thing's way too edgy, it's controversial, we're going to have problems with it, we really can't do this, try our ABA arm, our secular imprint. So we took it to them and their comments was, there's too much Jesus in here, you've got to go back to the Christian marketplace. As far as the, the controversy, you know, I think that that people need to have a place where they can bring their stuff. But I get one email, like uh, the one I just got from someone who says, I've never written an author before, I've never felt the need, that's all changed because of the shack. My son, from whom I've been estranged for over 20, uh, 40 plus years, took a spiritual pilgrimage from Atlanta, Georgia, by motorcycle to Oak Grove, Oregon, to spend a few hours. He sent me uh, an email that said, I'm coming bearing a great gift. And it turned out to be a much worn dog-eared copy of the shack. Inside he had written some notes to Father. And the one that meant the most to me was, there is healing in the giving and receiving of forgiveness. So we did that and much, much more. You get one email like that. I don't care. You know, you can stack up all the controversy you want. This is having this kind of influence in people's lives. And I get 50 to 200 of those emails a day from all over the world.